What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to convert this normal looking light switch over to this smart Wi-Fi light switch, which will allow you to control your light from anywhere you are in the world. And if you're at home, you can feel free to still use your phone or you can simply use your voice and connect this to Amazon Alexa. And then all you have to say is, Alexa, turn off my kitchen light or Alexa, turn off the living room light or whatever you want to name this light switch right here. So it is a three-way light switch. However, it is also compatible and you can also use it with a single pole light switch which is really really convenient so you can really purchase a whole bunch of these three-way switch and then convert your entire home three-way light switch as well as single pole light switch and turn your entire home into a smart wireless home and then you can control your light from anywhere in the world or simply by using your voice. So inside of the box, this is a two package deal. So you would get two of these three-way light switch. And remember again, it also works with a single pole. And of course, it also comes with a user manual that shows you exactly how to install everything. And of course, I will make everything clearer in this video because if this is your first time installing this, it could be a little confusing. And this video is going to help you with that. Next inside of the box, you also get two set of these screws. That way you can actually screw everything back and replace this faceplate right here guys now right now the normal faceplate as you can see has four screws however with this new light switch it comes with this faceplate right here that does not have any screws whatsoever so once you install it all you have to do is push it in and snap right in and it will look flush and clean without any screws whatsoever. So before we do anything guys, the first thing we need to do is to make sure we turn off the circuit breaker to this light switch right here. That way we do not get electrocuted and all the power is gone from this light switch. So before you move on, go to your circuit box and turn off the circuit breaker to this light switch and then we can move forward. Now, after you make sure you turn off your circuit breaker, let's go ahead and unscrew all four screws out of the original faceplate and remove the older light switch. Next, let's go ahead and remove all four of these screws in here as well. Alrighty guys, so as you can see right here, I already have one installed over here. So after it is installed, simply press it once, power it on, red light indicate it is on, press it once more to turn it off, or you can simply control it using your phone or by simply using your voice if you have Alexa. So let me go ahead and explain all the wiring diagram for you. So here is the GoSun Smart 3-way Wi-Fi light switch. On the back here, you have several things that you need to know. So this green wire, green and yellow wire, this is the ground wire, okay? And the white wire, which is over here, this is the neutral wire. Now, three other things you need to know is right here. Now, inside of those little plastic bag I showed you earlier, it came with three tiny screws, and those three tiny screws is for you to screw it on each of this, inside each of these holes right here. So you screw these three tiny screws in here, that way later, you can swap over all the wire and put it in this little hole right here, and then tighten this screw to hold down each wire in each hole. So this middle hole right here, it is indicated right here. This is the live wire. And this over here is the traveler wire, and this is the second traveler wire. So this is, a, again, a three-way switch. It does not matter which traveler wire go where. You can put it one here, one here. doesn't matter as long as you have one traveler wire go here and the other traveler wire go here and your live wire goes here. And this live wire should be the black wire on your old original switch. Now, let me explain the old original wiring diagram. All right, so this is my original three-way light switch. For the most part, yours should look the same or similar as well. So bottom is off, switch it up, this is on, or it could be the opposite, down for on and up for off because this is a three-way switch. So on top, we have the red wire. So this is the output. Terminology wise, this is the out wire or the load wire or the output. All means the exact same thing. The red wire is the out wire, okay? And at the bottom right here, this should be the black wire. And this is 
the live wire or the hot wire all means the same thing black wire live wire hot wire means the exact same thing now some houses may be different like my house this is a little bit different you may have only one black wire or live wire down here however for my house i have two black wire down here now regardless if you have one or two black wire down here all you have to do is put both of these black wire into the live hole on your new wi-fi light switch now on top this opposite side over here you notice you have another black wire over here this is one of your traveler line right here so just put this line into one of your traveler hole on your new light switch and lastly if you move over here on this side okay let me try to show you better here guys so you see this little green screw right here this is the ground wire so just take this out and connect it to your yellow and green ground wire on your new light switch now your new light switch does have a neutral line which is the white line now typically the white line like my house which is right here it typically rests behind way back there so you just kind of have to pull it out if it is just back there and then connect the white line on your new light switch to all of the other white neutral line that is already located behind your light switch after that you are pretty much done guys just make sure you tighten everything snugly and now you are ready to turn on your circuit box and test out your new light switch now once again let me summarize everything that way you have a clear understanding what everything is so on your new light switch you have this yellow and green line this is your ground wire so connect this to your ground wire on your old original light switch typically the ground wire is the naked wire on your old light switch now over here this is the white wire this is the neutral wire and connect this wire to your neutral wire located behind your original light switch now with these three holes right here in the middle remember the middle is your live wire live wire is the black wire on your original light switch now to the other one left and right line this is the traveler line it does not matter which traveler goes where just put one traveler line right here and the other traveler line right here which is the red one of the traveler is the red wire which is the wire that is the output on your original light switch so the live wire or the output wire go into one of these two traveler and the other traveler go into one of the other traveler it does not matter which goes where now let's look at the original light switch so this is my original light switch yours should also look something like this now turn it back here at the bottom this is where the black wire is you may have one black wire or two black wire but regardless if you have one or two black wire here which is the live wire go ahead and take one or both of these black live wire and put it in this middle hole right here on your new light switch now the wire that is on top right here should be the output wire which is the red wire or the load wire take this red wire and put it into one of these traveler it doesn't matter which one just one on either side whichever one you want to pick and lastly the wire that is over here on the opposite side of the red wire this is the traveler wire so take this traveler wire and put it in the remaining one of the traveler hole whichever one does not matter so one is on this side red this side traveler or this side red this side traveler it doesn't matter it would work just fine at the bottom this should be the last one right here this is where the green screw is this should be where your original ground wire is going to be connected again ground wire is typically the naked wire and that's it guys go ahead and transfer all the wire over here and once you have everything connected power back your circuit 
And once your circuit board is back on, you are ready to connect this to your Wi-Fi or smartphone. Immediately after you power on your circuit breaker, the light switch should start to blink on its own like this. If you don't see this blinking, all you have to do is hold this button down for about five seconds and it will start to blink. Now, when this light starts to blink, you are ready to pair it with your phone. Once you have this green light flickering on the light switch, go ahead and head over to your phone and boot up the Smart Life app. And in here, what you're gonna do is go ahead and select the add sign up here. And then now select Wi-Fi switch. Now select your Wi-Fi connection and select next. Go ahead and hit confirm indicator rapidly blinking and select next. Now just give it a minute or so to connect to your new Wi-Fi switch. After this, you should be ready to go guys. Just like that, it is ready guys. So the light switch is already ready. Now you can use it but give it a few more seconds to actually complete inside your phone right here. So just like that, we are done guys. So you can go ahead and select done from here and then watch this guys. Bam, power on. Bam, power off. Or again, you can just use your voice to control all of your lighting from now on. All right, so I have everything set up with Alexa. Now I'm gonna tell it to turn off the kitchen light. Alexa, turn off the kitchen light. Just like that, guys, how cool is that? Now, Alexa, turn on the kitchen light. How awesome is that, guys? And here is the complete product, guys. Now, since I have two light switch right here, I have to use a different uh, plate. And I did not use the original Gold Sun plate, but if I were to use the Gold Sun plate, this is what it's going to look like. Also, looks very, very nice and clean. And I actually like the way this looks better because as you can see, guys, there is absolutely no screws whatsoever. And with this over here, I have to use the screws as you can see right there. But overall, it still looks very, very good. I love the fact that now I can control my light entirely from my phone or simply by using using my voice when I'm at home and never actually have to get my phone out at all. But if I am anywhere else in the world, I can actually control the light from my phone. And another good thing is, let's say if you're going on a long vacation or long trip, you can actually schedule these light switches to turn on or off at certain time frame. That way, you know, to let other people think as if your house actually has people living in there and someone is at home. So that's always a benefit. So with all that being said, guys, that is the Gold Sun Smart Wi-Fi three-way light switch. Again, keep in mind, you can also use this with a single pole light switch as well super super easy to install and fast and affordable with all that being said guys thanks everybody for watching and i will see you all in the next video